purchased the Cabbage Key in 1976 and the area around the island here in close boating proximity all grew rapidly during that time. I, I think my parents might have been half crazy because, in hindsight because they decided to chase their dream down here to buy a small island on the west coast of Florida that at the time had no, no power run to it, no phones, so much more primitive than it is today obviously. And then as we've developed it into more of a resort, I think we've developed a little bit more of a clientele that wants to be here at night as well. The idea as I understand it is that it was a form of banking. So some crusty old salt would assume that next time he was going to come in and need a drink, he'd probably be broke and write his name on it, stake it to the wall and say, I'm going to claim it when I come back. I don't see us changing things a lot. Now we're lucky enough to do it this way. And then you have traditional things that you're able to keep in existence. And I think it wasn't until I got into college that I had some friends remind me of just how I grew up in a place that serves a bunch of beer and cheeseburgers and might have some inspiration by Jimmy Buffett. So I feel lucky to be somewhat of a part of that too.